Hey guys, Stefan Fischer here from All of Road. Let me get rid of that. I hope you guys are well. In today's video, I want to discuss how I use the EcoFlow Delta 3 Pro, the pros and cons, the specs, and give you my take and opinions on this huge EcoFlow battery bank. So stay tuned. For full disclaimer, I contacted EcoFlow and asked them whether they would provide me an EcoFlow Delta 3 Pro, which they kindly did. I did not sign any agreements, any NDAs, and everything in this video is my experience and honest opinion of the unit. So before we dive deeper into my use case of the EcoFlow Delta 3 Pro, let me first give you the specs and features of the unit. The EcoFlow Delta Pro's Australian model uses live PO4 battery chemistry, that's lithium iron phosphate, which is one of the safest lithium chemistries for those keeping track. Quite important if you have the unit inside. This chemistry delivers 4000 cycles to 80% capacity at 25 degrees Celsius, which translates to roughly 11 years of daily use. I reckon quite important if you use it as a UPS. The operating temperature range spans between minus 10 to 45 degrees Celsius for discharge. Though there is a charging cutoff at zero degrees, the UPS functionality is where this unit earns its keep. With a 10 millisecond switch over time, it'll keep your sensitive electronics running when the power drops out. 10 milliseconds is fast enough for most computers, NAS systems and medical equipment to ride through the transition without missing a beat. No more losing work when the power flickers or goes off. For Australian conditions, you get four 230 volt outlets with standard type 1 plugs, which deliver 230 volt pure sine wave output at 50 Hz. The 4000 watt continuous output handles all camp appliances and power tools without a drama and can even power the most household appliances in your house. The system can expand to 12 kilowatt output and 48 kilowatt hour storage with additional batteries. However, that is not something I can test. AC charging maxes out at 3600 watts. However, during my AC charging, I managed to charge with over 2200 watt via AC, which is still pretty fast. While solar input handles up to 2600 watt across two PV ports with different voltage ranges. However, that is not something I could test. The IP65 rated battery pack, that is not the whole unit, just the internal battery pack, handles dust and water ingress when the ports are sealed. The automotive grade LFP cells sit inside a UL certified fireproof housing with X guard battery management, monitoring voltage, current, temperature and short circuit protection across multiple parameters. At 51.5 kg, it's not exactly portable in the traditional sense. But the wheels and the telescopic handle make repositioning manageable. I've been using UPS devices for many years. Traditional battery technology makes them super heavy, require frequent replacements, and usually only provide enough runtime to shut down your gear due to limited capacity. So I've been thinking it would be brilliant to use one of the new LFP portable battery banks as a UPS. I tried these earlier with the Jackery and Bluetti AC2000 and while the switch over times were sufficient, they were unfortunately too loud for an office environment. Given I already use the smaller Delta 3 Plus as a UPS for my internet setup and one NAS device, I thought the Delta 3 Pro might be perfect for powering the rest of the office. EcoFlow was kind enough to send me a Delta 3 Pro for evaluation and testing purposes. So my review focuses primarily on this use case. The Delta 3 Pro offers seven different charging methods through multiple input ports. For AC charging, you've got a standard mains input handling 100 to 240 volts at up to 15 amps delivering up to 4000 watt with the right setup. 
Solar charging uses two dedicated PV inputs, a high voltage port accepting 30 to 150 volts DC at 1600 watts maximum and a low voltage port handling 11 to 60 volts DC at 1000 watts maximum. Combined solar input maxes out at 2600 watts. For vehicle charging, there is no built in cigarette lighter socket, but you can use the XT60 i port with adapters for basic 12 volt charging at around 100 watt. However, with a unit this size, if you are running it in a caravan or camper, I'd strongly recommend pairing it with EcoFlow's 800 watt DC DC charger. That setup connects through the 48 volt input at 20 amps and makes it an excellent companion for proper onboard charging while you are traveling. The unit also accepts generator input and EV charging station input with appropriate adapters. On the output side, you get four 230 volt AC outlets delivering pure Synwave power at 4000 watts continuous output, enough for most household appliances and power tools. USB charging includes two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports with power delivery up to 100 watts each. 200 watts total combined from the USB-C ports. On the side of the unit, you'll find a DC 55 to 1 barrel connector providing 12 volts DC at a maximum of 5 amps. The real standout here is the 30 amp Anderson connector. Anderson plugs are extremely popular in Australia for 12 volt applications. And this is the first power station I've encountered that includes a proper 30 amp Anderson output. Even though this is a smaller 30 amp connector, it is great to have an Anderson port on a unit because that opens up compatibility with serious 12 volt equipment and makes this unit particularly appealing for Australian users who rely on Anderson connections for their touring and camping setups. The side panel also features an RJ45 remote port that supports CAN communication with other EcoFlow devices via Ethernet cable. Before I installed the unit as a UPS, or I obviously did my usual tests of the unit in the shed. So let's have a look at that. First up, I have to say that this is the quietest portable, or better semi-portable, battery bank I've ever tested. Even when charging at around 2000 watts, it maintains a noise floor of just around 39 decibels. I had the unit in our editing studio for several weeks now and I've never heard a sound from it. The actual fan noise from my RAID devices generate more noise than the EcoFlow Delta 3 Pro, which is already very quiet, is louder than the Delta Pro 3. I've tested the output capacity by running a heater, induction cooker at full power and a food dehydrator simultaneously. The unit handled all of these without any issues. I think it will be very hard to overload the unit with any single household appliance or power tool. Once I installed it in the editing room, I was actually surprised how little power my entire computer setup draws, including seven hard drives, multiple hubs, two large 32-inch monitors and a Mac Studio Ultra. My capacity testing delivered solid results across both output types. For AC output, running a food dehydrator at 464 watts for 8 hours and 14 minutes. The unit delivered 3773 watt hours of usable energy. That is 94.4% of the rated capacity, which is excellent considering the inverter loss you'd expect with AC loads. For DC testing via the 30 amp Anderson port, my battery test run a 10 amp load and showed 3586 watt hours of usable capacity, which represents 87.5% of the rated 4096 watt hours. Interestingly, the AC output actually delivered more usable energy than the DC test, which is a little strange, as you usually lose more efficiency via the inverter. At 51.5 kg with dimensions of 69 by 3 cm by 34.1 cm by 41 cm and the current price of 4599 Australian dollars, this is certainly not a small or lightweight unit. While I lifted it on my own, it's not something I'd recommend for solo handling. Most women probably wouldn't attempt lifting it due to the combination of weight and bulk. 
While $4,599 sounds quite expensive, the cost per watt hour is actually reasonable at $1.12 per watt hour. When you consider you are getting around 300 amp hours of usable capacity plus a 4000 watt inverter and 2600 watts of MPPT solar charging capabilities all in one package, the price becomes more justifiable. The included wheels and extendable handle make moving the unit quite manageable on flat even surface. However, lifting it in or out of a vehicle or carrying it up and down stairs would be a two-person job for most people. It's definitely designed more as a semi-portable base camp power solution or home backup rather than something you'd be moving around frequently. The Delta 3 Pro shares a similar design language with the Delta 3 Plus. To be honest, I still don't understand why they are all called Delta 3. With such different sizes and capabilities, it should be a Delta 4 or something distinct. But that's a different subject entirely. The design features this more tech-focused, shiny aesthetic that, in my opinion, lent itself better to indoor use and portable camping applications. However, for my purpose as a UPS in the editing room, I don't mind the design at all. All the tolerances, the plugs, sliding port covers, display and telescopic handle are exactly what you'd expect from EcoFlow, very precise and top-notch quality. The build execution is excellent with no complaints about fit and finish. As usual, the Delta 3 Pro has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity using the same EcoFlow app available for iOS and Android. Like all portable battery banks I've tested, you need to log in, which I don't like. However, it hasn't given me any grief or unexpected logouts. I won't go into too much detail about the app, since it's identical across all the EcoFlow units, with some Delta 3 specific features. There are two things I'm missing. One is the ability to disable all the front panel buttons through the app to prevent accidental power switching. And then I would like to see a cycle count in the app. Unfortunately, none of the portable battery banks I have tested count the battery cycles so that you get an idea of the life of the battery. So what do I like about the unit? The 30 amp Anderson connector is a great start in the right direction. While the main Anderson connector used in Australia is the bigger 50 amp version, which would be even better, I'll gladly take the 30 amp Anderson. It's the first power station I've encountered with a proper Anderson output, opening up compatibility with serious 12 volt equipment, especially for camping and RV use. It is incredibly quiet. I've never heard it operating, which I can't say about the Bluetti AC2000 Max or the Jackery 2000 Plus I tested as UPS units. The extendable handles, wheels and soft grip covers make it manageable in an office environment despite the weight. Build quality and materials are exactly what you expect from EcoFlow. They are excellent. The massive capacity delivers over 300 amp hours with a 4000 watt inverter keeping my entire computer and storage setup running for 12 hours during outages. It's genuinely multi-purpose. Beyond protecting my computer equipment from sudden shutdowns, it could power our chest freezer for days or even run a washing machine during extended outages. The solar charging capabilities make it perfect for longer blackouts. While it lacks dedicated UPS auto shutdown functionality, the huge capacity means it really matters. It'll run my whole setup for over 12 hours, so even overnight outages leave plenty of time for graceful morning shutdowns. To make it clear, these aren't really negative since the unit isn't marketed as a dedicated UPS. But these improvements would make it extremely appealing for UPS applications and could open up an entirely new market uh, for EcoFlow. There is a firmware update limitation. During firmware updates, the unit switches off partway through the firmware download, instead of downloading the complete file first. If your internet gear is connected to the UPS, you lose connection mid-download, killing the update. You need to temporarily connect network equipment directly to main power during updates. A button lock feature would prevent accidental AC power shutdowns in busy office environments where the unit might get bumped. 
Most dedicated UPSs include software that gracefully shuts down computers after set time during outages. The Delta Pro 3 lacks these entirely. EcoFlow has a power manager app, but strangely it only works with the Delta 3 Plus and supports only limited Synology NAS devices. Windows and Mac integration for graceful shutdown would be brilliant. For permanent UPS installation, having the outlets at the back with the display facing forward would create neater cable management. The current front facing design probably works better for portable camping use though. At 51.5 kg and $4,599, it's heavy and reasonably expensive. However, it's cheaper than dedicated LFP UPS units with far less capacity. At roughly 85 cents per day over an 11 year lifespan, the value proposition is pretty good. The EcoFlow Delta 3 Pro is not the only EcoFlow unit I use as a UPS though. I started a little bit earlier to redirect the use of my EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus that's only a 1024 watt hour unit as a UPS. And that is also in the editing room and is powering the whole internet for the house. That means it powers my router, it powers my NBN box, it powers my wireless system. And that means in the case of a power outage, we usually still have internet at least for quite a while. I'm running that now for several months and that also works perfectly. I'm very happy with that setup. So what is my final verdict? Will I keep the unit? Yes, I will definitely keep the unit as my UPS. And to be honest, I'm planning to get another unit. Um, I'm not sure whether it's going to be an EcoFlow um, for my media center setup in the living room to also use it as a UPS. And obviously then in case of a power outage, I can all shut that down and use the two units um, to power my fridges and other appliances around the house during a power outage. If you follow my channel, you also know that I always carry one of the smaller power banks on nearly all of my trips nowadays, simply because I don't have a big inverter in the car, which I really otherwise wouldn't need. I only have a 700 watt inverter and a 2000 watt inverter is so much bigger. I just don't have place for it. And I also like to carry a portable unit in addition to my built in 160 amp hour battery because it simply gives me flexibility. That means I can charge stuff away from the car. I can do my cooking away from the car. And on top of that, it also gives me redundancy. If my built in lithium battery should die or whatever, I have a redundant battery with me, which if I had to could power my fridge from uh, continue to do my cooking and charge other appliances. One other thing I'm also keen to see, the EcoFlow Delta 3 Pro now will be in daily use, so running it as a UPS, and I'm really keen to monitor the battery degradation over time because we have all these fancy figures, how long batteries are supposed to last and how many cycles, but I don't think that many people really have uh, tested them really long term how long they last so stay tuned for that so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please keep in mind this is a self-funded channel so i would greatly appreciate if you could help me out by sharing liking and subscribing and if you can please consider head over to patreon or buy me a coffee and with the equivalent of a cup of coffee or two per month you can really help me making these videos Thanks a lot for watching and see you along the tracks.